Uh, good morning again. Uh, my name is Enrique Fuafua. I am a Humboldt professor in the Friedrich Alexander University in Erlangen, Germany. And uh, it's for me a great pleasure to uh, introduce to you the next speaker of the section 16 on optimization theory and control of this uh, ICM uh, 2022. So our next speaker is Professor Yu Hong Dai. Uh, he's a Feng Kan Chair Professor at the Academy of Mathematics and System Sciences of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Uh, Yu Hong is a well-known uh, expert in a broad area covering continuous optimization, integral programming, applied optimization, and numerical analysis. And today, uh, he's lecturing on the evaluation um, Sorry, on the uh, where is it? <laughs> okay, on the new trends in nonlinear optimization. So, Yu Hong, your the stage is yours. Thank you very much, Eric. And it's also uh, uh, my great honor uh, to have this opportunity to speak on this ICM. And the title of my talk today is a new train in uh, nonlinear optimization. At the beginning, I cordially uh, thank uh, Professor Ya Xiang Yuan and Professor Roger Fletcher and uh, Mike uh, Power for their long-term encouragement and uh, guidance. I also uh, thank uh, many other professors and the postdoc and the PhD student for their good uh, research and uh, cooperations. So here is the outline of my talk. So we have a five part introduction on constraint optimization, the constraint optimization, optimization with least constraint variation, and finally some concluding remarks. So uh, our general uh, Nonlinear optimization and problem is to optimize the object function subject to possible equality and inequality constraint. From and uh, this Sorry, uh, table, Hong. are you are you sharing your slides, Yu Hong? Oh uh, yeah, y yes. So sorry. I, I, don't, I don't see them. I personally don't see them. But, uh... So now you can uh, see my screen. Yeah, now, now we can see. So maybe you can go to the full screen mode. Okay. Okay. Yes. Very good. And maybe you can show the, the first few if you want uh, quickly. Oh, yes, yes. So sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So thank okay. you very much. Thanks. Yeah, it's Thanks. my honor to speak uh, on this ICM. Uh, my uh, talk uh, today is new trends in nonlinear optimization. Uh, at the beginning uh, of my talk, I uh, cordially uh, thank Professor Yuan, Fletcher, and uh, Power for their long-term encouragement and the guidance. I also uh, thank many other professors and the uh, postdoc and the PhD student for their good research cooperation. So this is the outline, an uh, introduction on constraint optimization, uh, constraint optimization and optimization with this constraint variation. And finally, some concluding remarks. The general uh, learning optimization problem is to optimize a uh, object function subject to possible equality and uh, inequality constraint. From uh, this table of uh, optimality conditions, we can see uh, the nonlinear optimization field uh, stays from the calculus by, uh, invented by Newton and Leibniz. And uh, Lagrangian also uh, made a significant uh, contribution for equality constraint optimization and uh, Jeeves, a famous thermodynamicist, 
consider the 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 simple and um, inequality and constraint problem here, and uh, it uh, was a tier the proposition of KKT and conditions, uh, which uh, make the nonlinear organization uh, become an uh, independent uh, subject. And uh, uh, in America, uh, there are numerous uh, numerical methods for uh, nonlinear optimization invented by uh, many great people. Here, I just named a few, and we can see uh, Kulan actually uh, founded the Kulan uh, Institute of Mathematics, and uh, Frisch and uh, Wilson received Nobel um, prizes. Now I uh, and talk about uh, uh, uncontrolization. So in this occasion, uh, we are trying to optimize a objective function without any constraint. So uh, basically to uh, develop and analyze uh, a numeric method for this a general uncontrolization problem, we normally uh, uh, consider uh, this uh, quadratic optimization model. So we are often asked by this question, can the method find the unique minimizer of this uh, quadratic optimization in finite steps? So this is called uh, quadratic termination properties. So uh, the earliest uh, method for uh, nonlinear optimization can be dated back to uh, Cauchy in 1847, the Stephen descent method. It is to find the best point along the Stephen descent direction, negative gradient here. And uh, we can, in the, for quadratic optimization case, we can prove the uh, Stephen descent method uh, is q linearly converted uh, in the objective function and also in iteration itself by archaic and yuan. And uh, for quadratic optimization, we can uh, have some uh, companion uh, uh, of Stephen descent method, uh, which has good uh, step size properties here and the good value properties here. But uh, uh, Stephen descent method uh, performs uh, very slowly uh, in practice uh, due to um, producing uh, zigzags. So one um, big um, breakthrough over grade method is the conjugate grade method by uh, Hestanus and Stephen. So uh, this, uh, for, uh, it is for uh, symmetrical um, positive definite linear systems. And uh, this conjugate grid method was listed in uh, 29 major development in scientific computing. It's, not, it's extension of nonlinear conjugate grid method by Lord Fletcher and the Reels. Actually, um, marks the beginning uh, of the field of a large-scale nonlinear optimization uh, committed by Lossiter 1991. So for uh, needy containers of a uh, nonlinear uh, conjugate method are FR and HS and the PRP and the DUI and method, which happen to have uh, two different uh, numerators and uh, two different uh, denominators here. And another um, big breakthrough uh, over grid method is the uh, so-called Cosi-Newton method. So Cosi-Newton method was also listed into one of our 29 major developments in scientific computing by Nick Trafson. And uh, the first course in Newton method is called BFP. And uh, BFGS uh, is generally uh, to believe to 
and the most efficient causing neutral matter. The uh, anagers and the mystery of causing neutral matter attracted one, a lot of one famous scientists. Spanish and Bird, Loster, Yuan, and until recently, Rastlov worked on the complexity of a greedy quasi neutral matter. So here I would like to mention you that is a uh, convergence problem of the BFGAs for non convex function uh, was uh, finally uh, solved by my perfect example. But the other open problem, uh, whether the BFP with Wolf line search convert for strongly convex function is still open. So now uh, we shall ask the question, if we uh, fix the search direction to be the negative and greater, can we um, find a, a good, more, a very efficient uh, uh, grade method. So um, this means we can only choose the depth size alpha k. So this is some kind of a one parameter method optimization problem. So for uh, this um, problem, actually uh, Bajna and Bowai uh, uh, gave a positive answer. He regarded uh, this matrix DK, which is uh, identity multiplied by the step size R K, to be a uh, approximation of the inverse Hessian, and uh, require this matrix to meet the cos Newton equation in the least squares. Then we are led to this quadratic problem, and then we can solve this uh, step size, and we can see we can uh, get the ex explicit formula of this step size. And uh, by this um, example of fracture from the discretization of a Laplace equation, we can see um, BB um, performs much, much uh, faster than SD. So, so we, we can look at the the termination and criteria is here, but the statement same method paid 2,000 iteration, but the graded law can only decrease a little bit. And we can also, BB is almost uh, comparable to CG for this example. From this uh, example, uh, we can also see uh, BB actually ha has a strong non-monotone behavior. And nevertheless, uh, we can um, prove the global convergence and the R linear convergence of the BB for quadratic optimization problem. But this R linear convergence result actually is far worse than the convergence result of the deep descent, which is um, proved to Q linear. And to uh, extend the BB for uncountry optimization, Normally, we need to incorporate some kind of a non-monotone line search. And uh, um, BB, um, because it's very efficient, um, it, was, it received a lot of uh, extension and the applications. So uh, for example, sparse restructuring by Wright and Wen Zewen, and uh, support vacuum machine by Salafani, and uh, Regularize the pure ERM problem by Tan and the Su Qian Ma and the uh, uh, manifold optimization by uh, Xin Liu. And uh, here I would like to mention actually the uh, current BB step is exactly the pure uh, SD step size. So this attracts, so, so we can see um, BB is actually the some kind of one. Uh, um, SD with one retard. So uh, this attracts uh, um, Friedlander uh, to work on the great method with the retards. So uh, uh, 
actually, uh, uh, we can find that uh, uh, BB, uh, the BB work was uh, uh, the most uh, highly cited research work of uh, John, John Bowen. And to understand the efficiency uh, of a, a BB, actually, uh, we, we also have some kind of a, a finite termination property for the grid method. It says, if we choose the same side to be the inverse of the eigenvalues of the matrix A, then by Calais Harman theorem, we, can, we must have a, a so this gradient is equal to zero. So uh, we can re relate the uh, converged property uh, to the value of uh, the, the matrix A. So actually uh, we can prove uh, the BB actually uh, was R superlinear convergence in the low dimension. And uh, actually um, for uh, if we work on the cyclical uh, deep descent method, and uh, if for, for any dimensional problem, if the cyclical tie of the deep descent mass step size M is uh, greater than or equal to about one half of the dimension, then we can also um, get some kind of R superlinear convergence. So uh, this means for, uh, for great method, also, there is only one parameter we can, uh, it is possible to get some kind of a superlinear converged result. So uh, now, uh, yeah, you'll see BB is a um, non-monotone. So non-monotone grade method can be very efficient. So uh, we, a major question is, uh, is there uh, it's, uh, some very efficient monotone grid method? So you are, in 2006, consider the two-dimensional quadratic optimization problem. And he asked if the step method step size is used the, the first and the third step, step steps, then can we choose the, the second step size such that uh, uh, X4 is exactly the minimizer of the problem? So you have solved this problem and uh, construct some method, which is very efficient. And uh, later, uh, myself and Yuan propose a new variant of the Yuan step size and uh, we propose to use uh, two uh, new step size after two seven descent uh, step size, then we can prove this is a monotone grid method and uh, numerical, numerical experiments with quadratic optimization um, problem show that this, this new method uh, performs much uh, more efficient than, than BB. So this means it's possible to design very efficient monotone grid method as well. So next, uh, we, would, uh, we would like to ask uh, the following question. Is it possible to equip BB with two dimensional quadratic combination property so uh, to, if we want to uh, answer this question, and uh, at first we can have an observation. If it happens, we get a gradient, which is exactly the uh, eigenvector of the matrix A, then it's very easy to uh, get the fi finite combination property. But uh, in practice, it's actually it's very difficult to get a, a, a character as uh, of the A as greater. So we have to think about uh, an, another another kind of uh, uh, thing. Then 
actually we can uh, start from uh, this Aguano equation and uh, we can choose these um, functions, um, Poseidon one, Poseidon two, and Poseidon three and Poseidon four. And uh, if we, uh, we, we can ask this uh, equation to be hold, then we can have this uh, zero to uh, verify the two dimensional quadratic combination. Then if we specially choose these um, functions, Poseidon one to Poseidon four, then we can get this new step size. So here, so you see, uh, it's also possible to equip BB uh, with two dimensional properties and uh, no exact line search and no hashes. Then based on the draw die and dry work, we can uh, design very efficient the BBQ method for uncountry optimization and also uh, for uh, country optimization here. And uh, then uh, based on this BBQ, you see we can design very efficient algorithm for quadratic optimization and also for uncountry optimization. So we can see uh, from this figure, uh, BBQ is much faster than um, BB and the GBB. So for this finger, the higher, the better. And uh, we can also design a very efficient uh, method for box country optimization by some kind of a project, projection uh, technique here. So again, you can see a BBQ is much efficient than the previous method. And uh, also see signaling linear box country here. And uh, you can see uh, this green line. And uh, again, we get very efficient uh, uh, BBQ method. And here uh, we have some kind of uh, extreme uh, agravenous problem. So we can get uh, its uh, uncountrolled formulation. Uh, and uh, then we can work on this uh, Major optimization problem, and uh, we can see uh, we, we can get a very efficient BBQ method here. So, uh, uh, by uh, equipping BB with two dimensional step size, we uh, two dimensional quadr quadratic combination property, we can get a very efficient BBQ step size and uh, BBQ method. So uh, we can ask some more questions. Uh, does the study of a three-dimensional quadratic combination need to efficient grid algorithms? And uh, we might ask why the Zhou Dai, uh, Zhou Gao Dai framework um, performs so, ef so efficient. And uh, can we find more efficiency evidence for non-monotone grid method? And, uh, the final question is, what, what is the best grid method here? And uh, uh, we, we can remark uh, BB actually is some kind of retarded uh, SD. And, and uh, 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 QN uh, can be regarded as some kind of retarded neutral uh, method. So uh, is there any uh, significant uh, QN method than BB, than BFTS along this line? So actually, uh, my, one of my students and uh, myself released this problem and uh, we found this is possible and uh, we invented uh, a method which has a, uh, 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 which keep uh, quadratic simulation and uh, uh, which has strong Hessian characterization prop ability and uh, is two, averagely 2.36 2 uh, times faster than BFGS. And uh, uh, actually, the success of BB is to make the grid method uh, close to Newton method. Is, are there may, more um, possibility? So in 2013, for country grid method, actually we can uh, take the search direction 
in this manifold codes the memory scaling BFTA direction and uh, get this uh, method. It turns that and this um, choice came forward very well, and it was used in the two and um, CG and um, software, CG OPT and the CG and um, and design solvers. So, uh, uh, we can we can see uh, although uh, uncontrolization is very uh, is very major. Uh, and uh, soft field, but there are, there are many more, uh, there are more surprises. So next, uh, uh, I move to the constraint optimization. And uh, we start the uh, castanous power augmented launcher, which is for uh, this uh, equality constraint optimization um, problem. So we can see we have uh, this like longer turn here, and this is the augmented, augmented like longer like like turn here. So uh, this function uh, reformulate this in, inequality country optimization to this uncountry optimization. So uh, this very uh, works very well, and it actually uh, it is the base basis of successful nonlinear uh, programming co co codes, uh, natural and minus. And uh, this function are also widely used in machine learning and commented by uh, Ya Xiang Yuan. So by this uh, augmented Lagrange function, we can uh, design the so-called uh, augmented uh, Lagrange method or multiple multipliers here and it's very uh, simple and very easy for large scale convex problem and if we choose the uh, this explicit uh, formula for this like larger multiplier then we we can get this uh, fractures exact penalty functions but uh, this uh, it's very difficult to extend this exact penalty function to inequality country optimization. So next, uh, uh, let's um, have a look at the general country optimization. So here we have an inequality constraint. Then we can formulate this problem by introducing snack, uh, snack variable Z here. And then we can introduce the augmented Lagrange. We have two terms here. So then we can solve uh, Z from this problem and then we can get this uh, augmented Lagrange for a general country optimization problem. But uh, you know, uh, this is uh, not so sm smooth. So uh, generally uh, we can consider convex as that country optimization uh, we can have a non-smooth uh, reformulation. So we have a, so we introduce the in indicate function into the object function. And we can also have some kind of a smooth uh, reformation, which keep the uh, convex uh, constraint, a convex set uh, in, into the constraint. Then we, we use some kind of project uh, method. This, but uh, this, this kind of uh, reformation are not smooth enough and uh, slow and converges. And uh, uh, let's look at the iterative point technique for uh, inequality country optimization. So here, uh, so here we only consider inequality country. So we can have a feasible reformulation by introducing a uh, no logarithmic barrier problem here, so which requires uh, all CX to be strictly feasible to keep uh, this country. And uh, we can also have some kind of uh, infeasible reformation uh, 
but uh, this infeasible reformulation actually cannot uh, keep, uh, cannot preserve the convexity of the original problem, which means uh, if this problem is uh, convex, but this uh, reformation may be non-convex. So compare the uh, ethereal point method and the simple uh, simplex method. Ethereal point method actually approximates the solution along the central path of feasible uh, region. And the simplex uh, find, is to find the solution on some vertex along the boundary of the uh, simplex region. So uh, one question is, uh, is there any unified framework and um, which can allow these two different kind of uh, um, method. So um, now uh, I want to uh, introduce you our smooth barrier augmented lung uh, uh, lung So uh, we recall this inequality country optimization here and uh, this is the infeasible reformulation here. So we have uh, e equality construct here. Then by in introduce Naglanger term here and the augmenting the Naglanger term here, we can get this uh, augmented Naglanger for this uh, infeasible you know, uh, rhythmic barrier uh, problem here. So uh, you see, actually, this is uh, uh, some kind of uh, for for variable z. We can solve this uh, variable z from this equation from this problem. And uh, actually, it is uh, some kind of uh, quadratic, uh, some kind of root of a quadratic uh, uh, equation, and we can get uh, the unique uh, positive uh, root here. Then. Uh, we substitute the uh, formula of J back to this uh, augmented Lagrangian. We are reached uh, this uh, smooth barrier augmented Lagrangian uh, function here. So uh, actually, uh, this uh, SBAA function has many uh, good advantages, which uh, I try to summarize here. So actually, uh, this function is smooth enough on both um, primal and the dual. This just can be done um, by direct collection. And uh, this um, function also maintains the convexity of the original problem. So we have this is very good. And uh, based on this um, spar, we can design very efficient RPPD and uh, we can and we can analyze the properties of uh, uh, some kind of uh, infeasible stationary point if it is infeasible. And uh, we can also uh, design very efficient uh, RPRM method, which uh, admit a smooth uh, KKT system uh, with mu equal to zero. So uh, C equal to CI equal to zero and SI equal to zero. And uh, uh, actually, we can also uh, design very efficient uh, uh, S bar method of multipliers here. So uh, then, this method can may be used for binary problem and uh, mixed integer uh, nonlinear um, programming. And uh, so here, I show you the method of RPPD, so which have a very, very good uh, converged properties. Uh, not matter the, the problem is feasible or infeasible. And uh, uh, for and RP uh, RM, so we can see uh, this stationary conditions. Uh, so this uh, KKT uh, system actually uh, admit uh, mu can be zero can be zero and the CX can be zero and the CSI can be zero. So this can be unified the system uh, 
uh, involved in uh, arterial point measured and also a, a simplex measure. And uh, we also we can also design very efficient uh, as bar method of multipliers here. And uh, then we can also uh, and use this uh, uh, as this very uh, numeric method to uh, to solve a special program. If we consider uh, the QP the the, the RPRM method for QP and the LP, we can find the solution. Uh, only one linear system is required at each iteration. And also uh, we can uh, extend this math for uh, SOCP and we can get a very good um, property for the linear system. And uh, we can think about uh, the extension of S bar M method for by level programming problem. So based on this method, the low level optimization is reformulated re 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 as a smoothie nonlinear system, and the by level problem is then reformulated as a single level param uh, parametric nonlinear uh, non convex problem. And here uh, we can also uh, consider the S bar M for uh, mixed. Uh, integer nonlinear programming. And uh, uh, because uh, infallibility uh, often uh, occurs in potentially many sub problems of a mixed integer nonlinear programming uh, problems. So uh, you can see uh, based on our uh, new uh, S bar AR function, we can uh, Desire uh, many um, more efficient algorithm, and we can uh, reconsider uh, uh, the interior point method and also a possible uh, CPLEX method. So, next, uh, I would like to move, uh, move to the optimization with least concert violation. So, uh, so basically, uh, many uh, uh, algorithms and uh, uh, analysis normally assume the the problem is is feasible. So, uh, but what if this uh, this set this feasible set is is empty? Is empty? So in this case, instability detection detection is a very important issue. But up to now, uh, we are only uh, address the the so-called infeasible and uh, so the so that's so point uh, for this problem. So and there are very few uh, works uh, addressing this problem. Uh, Bird, uh, Curtis, and Nostor, and uh, Burke, uh, Curtis, and Wang in two thousand ten and two thousand forty, and uh, I just mentioned you uh, our work uh, on two thousand twenty twenty. Uh, we, we can also uh, prove some kind of uh, uh, properties uh, related to infeasible stationary point here. But uh, you see, an uh, uh, infeasible stationary point, actually, uh, this point uh, is uh, just a stationary point over the infeasibility uh, measure. This point has nothing to do with the objective function of the problem. But for many important problems, um, minimizer of the objective function uh, over the point with this country, the violation are expected. So actually, uh, for this uh, rocket trajectory of optimal control problem, actually, we are not only uh, which and the, the concentrate are violated uh, in the least square, but we also wish the object function to be minimized. So uh, we have to uh, uh, work on the uh, optimization with least concentrate violation. So uh, then we are we have to ask uh, uh, these three questions: how to 
uh, characterize the instability of a convex optimization problem and how to describe optimality and condition for the optimization problem with miscontrolled validation and can augment the Lagrange method deal with this optimization problem with miscontrolled validation. And uh, here, uh, this slide, uh, so the first problem, and we can see uh, if this problem is feasible, if and only if the dual function theta is bounded below. So uh, if this problem is infeasible, then this dual function is, must be uh, bounded, uh, uh, not bounded below. So actually this is some kind of extension of the ARP case here. And uh, uh, we can describe a necessary optimality, uh, optimality condition for this problem. And uh, we can uh, have the uh, Lipschitz equality construct optimization problem. And uh, then we can get the Lipschitz op optimality condition. And we can also have some kind of uh, M stationary point uh, theory here. And uh, uh, we can also we also work on the augmented Lagrange problem uh, the method for this uh, uh, this problem, and uh, uh, we can I show I show you the finally uh, result here, and so so, uh, so uh, by this theory 4.3, we can see uh, the, the, the sequence of the shift um, must tend to the optimal shift, shift S bar here. And we can see uh, the sequence of XK, YK uh, eventually satisfy the Ipsina approximate optimal uh, condition. So actually, uh, uh, we also work on the penalty method. Uh, you know, a penalty method works for a uh, problem uh, with uh, feasible, feasible constraint, but we also analyze the penalty method also works for the case uh, of uh, infeasibility. Uh, so, but uh, this uh, penalty method uh, requires the penalty parameter is required to grow to infinity. So, uh, uh, so by this uh, work, we can show the, the advantage of uh, augmented Lagrange uh, method, uh, which do not require the uh, parameter and tend to uh, infinity. And uh, I also have to remark, uh, Sensor and others uh, independently propose the so-called data compatibility problem to counter the convex optimization. And uh, actually we can uh, work a lot uh, uh, about uh, optimization with uh, this country of our nation here. We can consider RP, HDP, SOCP, and uh, BRP and uh, many others. So uh, finally, uh, I would like to address some uh, crude remarks. So uh, as you see, uh, nonlinear optimization uh, stays from calculus and uh, becomes eventually a major uh, since the proposition of a KKT condition and the many numerical uh, method, but it is there on the way going. So for uncontrolization, actually the quadratic model still plays a very important role. And uh, we can uh, 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 invent uh, many more efficient uh, algorithms, the BBQ, DK, and the DBLGAs. And uh, for constraint uh, optimization, actually we introduce the very uh, smooth, S bar with good um, property, and uh, we can design many e more efficient algorithms, uh, S bar M and RP RM. 
but uh, up to now, we did, uh, don't know how to analyze the complexity. And uh, uh, initial uh, theory and the algorithms are proposed for optimization and with least country optimization, but uh, they are not to do. And this seems to be a realm to be studied in dealing with infeasibility issue. So uh, this is all my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor uh, Yu Hondai. Thank you for this uh, excellent talk. Unfortunately, we don't have time for questions, but there will be uh, posted in the in the platform, and I'm sure you will be happy to interact. Thank you. Congratulations for this talk, and hope to meet you soon in person, you and the audience as well. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Yeah, look forward to meet you in person in Beijing or other. Uh, place.